Hi everyone, Aiden here at the trailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Thule T2 Pro XTR and seeing how it fits on the back of our 2023 Honda Odyssey. This is going to be a platform style bike rack capable of carrying up to two bikes. It's going to hold the bikes by the front tire using this wheel hook. You can see that the wheel hook is on either side and alternating directions. And because it holds the bike by the tire and not the frame, it's going to be a great option for carbon frame bikes and alternative frame bikes. With a 60 pound weight pack, weight capacity, excuse me, per bike, it's going to be able to handle some e-bikes too. And not to mention, out of the box, this is ready to work with fat tire bikes and kids bikes as well. So really a wide range, really anything you could imagine. The one thing I'd say to watch out for is just bikes with fenders because you have that front wheel hook up by the forks. Aside from all that though, it's going to share a lot of the same features that any other premium platform rack would, like the ability to tilt away with the bikes loaded. The handle at the back end can be used to release that and tilt it down. Really easy to do. Now, if you've got it loaded up with heavier bikes on your Odyssey, it is going to be a bit more of a drop. So it's just something to watch out for, but it gives us plenty of room to open up that back hatch, get to anything that we might need on the inside and not have to worry about unloading our bikes to do that. I will say that with our handlebars here, it does come pretty close with an about inch and a half or two inches. So if you've got some really wide uh, mountain bike handles, I'd maybe say to watch out for that but it's really just going to depend on the bike and also with taller bikes that might put it at a further waypoint where it doesn't matter. So with all that in mind, one thing I do want to point out before we get the bike unloaded is the integrated cable lock. That's going to be stored on the arm here, wrap around the frame and back to itself for easy security. I will say it's not the nicest thing in the world. It's a little hard to deploy and it's not super long but long enough to wrap around the frame or the front tire not both in most cases and aside from that we can get the bike unloaded we'll do that by starting at the back tire releasing the wheel strap by pressing the gray button and pulling the strap out that'll just set to the side and then on the front end we can squeeze a button on the handle to push up and out on that hook. From there, you can lift the bike up and away and I'll set it to the side over here. It's a really simple process to get the bike loaded and unloaded. Because there's no center mass, there's nothing in our way, like right here, to make loading harder. So, we can just get this all cinched back down. The back cradle does slide to accommodate for different wheel bases. And when you're done with the hook, that can just fold up flat like that. And from there, we can get some measurements. We'll start off with our ground clearance, going at the lowest point at the back end. We've got 21 inches of clearance from the ground, which for a minivan on the Honda Odyssey here is really good. There is a good rise in the shank and our hitch doesn't sit too low to the ground. So I'd say for most situations, it's gonna be more than enough ground clearance for those steep driveways and hills. Now, the distance we add to the back it is going to stick out a fair bit to the end of the handle from the bumper is 38 and a half inches. So we are adding a fair bit of length to the back of the Odyssey. Something to be mindful of when we're driving around and pulling into parking spaces. But if you want to leave it the hitch in or the bike rack in your hitch, excuse me, between rides, you can save some space by folding it up. That's going to cut our distance added down to about 16 and a half inches. So it does reduce that quite a bit. The one thing I would say is that in this position, it's pretty much completely blocking your license plate and your backup camera is gonna be pretty obstructed. Luckily, the backup camera does sit offset, so you might be able to see a little bit out here, but I wouldn't rely on that as your primary method of seeing things when you're backing out. It doesn't block your back window though, and your taillights do remain pretty much entirely visible. That can all change whenever you have bikes loaded up, so do watch out for that but as it is, it sits pretty nicely. It doesn't come too close to the back bumper either. I'm not worried about vehicle contact because of that. This position here is only a couple inches away, but there's really no movement in there, so I'm not worried about it. At the bottom, we've got wheels that we can use to wheel the bike rack around for transport when it's out of the hitch, making it easier to get from your garage to the vehicle. And underneath that, there's an anti-rattle knob that is lockable 
That'll secure this into the hitch, keeping it rock solid. And then at the hitch, it's working with our two inch by two inch receiver tube using this sort of stinger style pin to hold it in. It's a really nice tool free system, makes the setup process very easy. And again, you don't need tools. So it's easy to just get it done by yourself, especially when you can wheel it up to the vehicle and not have to lift it near as much. And overall, I'd say it's a pretty solid option. One thing I'd maybe look into is the Kuat Envy or the Envy Base. Both are gonna be very similar options, personal favorites of mine. I think the Kuat racks are maybe just a little bit smoother. I like the cable locks a bit better and the tilting function. But if you're looking at this rack with the thought of maybe upgrading to the four bike rack, then I'd say the T2 Pro XTR is a solid option and a good fit on the 2023 Honda Odyssey. Thanks for watching.